I uh, I wanted to talk with you about is it because Ricardo have have made has has made mistakes that's why he chose Christianity no basically nah no chance that's not the reason no basically the reason why I chose Christianity is because at the very beginning I had everything intact my life was intact I was single still am um basically uh, well yeah basically my life my life my yeah my life my life was intact everything was going smoothly and swimmingly and I had everything under control my life was under control my life was decent I was decent everything was perfect couldn't complain going to college doing my thing up to my own business and then I was just walking down the high street one day in Cheltenham and then this guy basically came to me and said you know came to me and said you know cause I was listening to him preaching the gospel like they do on the streets as you you guys and gals know witnessing street evangelism street evangelism and basically he was talking about you know you need to be saved or else you go to hell but let me exp I'll explain myself about that in a minute yeah he, he said you know if we, di if we were to die today where would you go heaven or hell as we all know there's no middle ground Christians know there's no middle ground between God and the devil there's never middle ground so he was preaching his thing doing his thing he was an older guy it's a shame I never met him to thank him it's, that's the bad news about that and yeah so he's doing his thing preaching his heart out as as you normally do preaching the gospel as you would do normally do as a Christian and yeah I I listened to him when I was doing my when I was studying when I was doing work experience in drama he uh, yeah I was watching him watching him preach his heart out the guy white guy and and I and I went I was I think I was getting my lunch I think I was getting my lunch so. I, I, when I when I finished listening to him, I walked away, got my lunch, came back, and I was as I was came coming back, I was literally looking for him. I think, seeing if he was still finished, and the guy just sort of like came towards me, the same guy I was preaching his heart out, and said, "I saw you watching me. Um, I was want, just want to ask you, what would you, would you think? I, I can't recall what he said to me. I said you, he was asking me about, you know." He was just asking me about, you know, what, what, what you, would you like to come to our church? And gave me a fly and sort of like started talking to me and stuff. I think he, I think he did ask me, you know, if we were to die today, where would you go, heaven or hell? And you know, I was, I was going back home and stuff and heading back later that day. And it just, it just sort of like dwelled, it just dwelled on me and just. And I couldn't really, I couldn't really shift it away. That the emotional side of what he just said, it just shift, it just, I just shift my focus, it just shift my shift, shift my focus, and and I think it was as if God was saying that you know, my life isn't intact, it's not perfect. You need me, you need, you need my son Jesus, and then eventually. Uh, Repeat person, people I was living with, the support work, the um, the support workers or support carers, they basically the lady just said, you know, would you, why do you do, why do you do something about it? Why don't you come to church and see what you think about it? And I, then I just said, yeah, I'll give it a try. I just give it a try and see how it goes. And that's what I said in my heart as well. 
I, I just said to uh, I'll give it a try or something to that ex expression and since then I haven't really officially looked back but you could easily say to me you know you've been, you've been controlled you've been told what to do you've been influenced in a negative way you've been, you've been converted to Christianity by force by fear by tribulation and complete fear and you've been dis and I've been deceived but the thing is about Christianity and God and Jesus you know some people can hear this you know I know I know people close to me family relatives and stuff I know people close to me that have heard the same thing that I've heard like you know the, the message if you were to die today where would you go heaven or hell they've heard that same message and they just completely blanked it and said stuff you bruv I'm not listening I'm gonna carry on doing what I'm doing before I talk to you and from past present before I talk to you and after I've spoken with you I'm just gonna carry on with my own life in my own sin live my own sin do my sinning do my sex outside of marriage looking at a person with lust lying stealing killing babies uh, abortions they call it trying to dress try to dress it up but yeah when they can easily adopt and yeah what else is in ten commandments um re revenge anger you can get angry but don't let the sun go down in wrath like the bible says and you know what else calling out the Lord's name in vain you know revenge robbery stealing conniving I don't know about conniving but you know real guilty of the Ten Commandments I think it's in Kings so yeah So yeah, here's the Ten Commandments. Don't run away now, please. Listen all the way through, please. So yeah, here it is. It says in Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. V3, you shall have no other gods before me. This is including football, worldly stuff, women, women is my God, men is my God, sex is my God, sex outside of marriage, what else? And all sorts of gods besides Jesus Christ and God. If you replace it with another God, if you say, oh, I love this so much, then anything else in the world I passionately want to do this be this have this this is my this is my God if you say this is my God as in the God that I want if it's to do with I then it's your God not Jesus or God Jehovah God I don't mean Jehovah's Witness like any god it's, it's literally multiples because people have many gods and I'm talking about the Christian God Jesus Christ God himself the God that doesn't reveal his true face his nature is all to display forever to be displayed but his physical face is not revealed or else, he, or else if we stand in his presence we can die just like that so let me read on so you shall not make for yourself a carved image I carved image any any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth 
so yeah hope you get that one it's that image worshiping the image of worshiping the image and seeing that image as God that you created by human hands so I wonder okay yeah human hands so five you shall not bow down to them the images this is that we create nor serve them for I the Lord your God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me basically it, it this this kind of thing goes will pop will probably go all the way through your future generations and so on until somebody along the line says I'm gonna serve God I'm gonna serve Jesus but the thing is when it says in the Bible about God being a jealous God the reason why God is jealous is because there's so much God can pour out pour out upon us so much blessings that he can lavish upon us that when we do things without God you know when the God when 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 the devil comes and takes control of our lives you know we're we're robbing ourselves of what God really wants what God can really do for us this is why God is so jealous because God can pour out more more stuff for us more than what the devil can provide because anything that the devil provides it he steals it from somebody else or some other entity obviously entity that's from God so he goes I go and it says six but show but showing mercy to thousands to those who love me and keep my commandments v7 you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain take the name in vain as in pointless into air airless airless wonder without actually bringing anything back or having it having it having it not being able to having it not being able to having not sorry having it not being able to accomplish anything and V8 remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy V9 that Sabbath day is basically Sunday but you know you can't this is not this Sabbath day is not always for everyone because some people have to work on Sunday because of emergency services like 999 but you can't I'm sure I'm sure the emergency the emergency services like 999 911 you 911 I'm sure they'll have some days of Sundays to rest because every every human being understands Sundays so it says V9 six days you shall labor and do all your work V10 but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God in it you shall do no work you nor your son nor your daughter nor your male servant nor your female servant nor your cattle nor your stranger who is within your gates V11 for in six days the Lord made the seven sorry in the six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth the sea and all that is in in them and rested the seventh day therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and all and hallowed it v12 honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you what it means by that is that if you don't honor your father and mom your mom and dad God can cut your life short because it's not really it's not really God that does it it's just that God removes his hand of, hand of protection from your life because if you don't if you don't if you don't honor and respect the primary person that brought you into this world if you don't 
focus your attention on a primary person regardless of how however your family or mom your your mom or dad behaves regardless if they've been bad or good parents just avoid them just leave the, leave the, their area or their country and don't see them again but just or just basically forgive them or also even if it's even if it's not your fault or it is your fault regardless just forgive them and move on you know it's important to forgive as well basically so even if if your if your parents are criminals then you know they, I'm sure they're hurt in some way if you have bad parents I'm sure they're hurt in some way that's why they become bad parents because they're hurt inside they're hurting inside so what's that now you say you say you shall not murder obviously that one's plain and simple you shall not commit adultery it's tempting but just respect because I've heard I'm going to be a bit graphic here but I've heard in the news how one man had one man had sex with another one man was one man was married a man was ma ma a couple was married and a man the man went and slept with and had sex with another woman and the woman the, the married the married the already married woman the the wife basically cut the man's private parts off and this is actually this actually happened. I'm not making this up. And uh, the the I think the police or the 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 police or the services had to go and look for the man's private parts because you know once it's gone, it's gone. You can pray for it to come back. I'm sure God can sort it out. Pray for it to come back and it'll grow back because God can do that. But don't shut the door on what's happened to you, wh whatever's cut off in your body just keep up the faith and believe always believe and so it says you, v15 you shall not steal obviously we shouldn't steal because if you steal I've heard that you're stealing your blessings that's that's meant to come to you v16 you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor don't commit fraud or or lie or falsehood V17 you shall not cover your neighbor's house you shall not cover your neighbor's wife nor his male servant nor his female servant nor his ox nor his donkey nor anything that is your neighbor's even I'm guilty of this um yeah but so yeah you know, because if you if you cover someone else's property or whatever, you know what, like it says, you want to you want to do anything to get that, and some people will go as far as to murder that person to get it. You know, you see it all over the news, everywhere you go, globally, anywhere. So yeah, but the question is, what do we do with all of this? You know we're all guilty me included I'm the first to to say I'm guilty of all these all of these sins all of these all of these all these all of these condemnations but what what Jesus did you know he, he died died on the died on the cross for all of our sins so that we may have eternal life and be happy as well because when we pray the salvation prayer and forgive and ask to be forgiven for our sins we feel a lot better after the prayer it's like something or a weight that's me it, it, it comes right off of us and it's and God forgets about it and when we pray that salvationary prayer God doesn't remember our sins God doesn't remember our transgressions it's only the devil that reminds us of our sins of our past because he wants to lure us back into our sin and reject God and once you choose Christianity you will you will see things happen 
you will start to see things happen and the reason why that starts to happen is because when you see calamity stocks coming your way is because God sorry it's because, it's because the devil wants you back the devil knows you're going to heaven you're on your way to heaven when you do that salvationary prayer so the devil wants you back the devil will come in your sleep and try to torment you in your sleep sorry to fear you for this but I'm, try I'm trying to state the facts and try to stop you from just try to stop you from thinking that you know life's all okay you know you know you, you know there's no such thing as God God is not real I'm just here to prove you prove to you you will soon see my one of my videos you will see one of my videos about a man that cannot blaspheme check that video out it's serious real serious and there I prove to you that God is real so so like I said what do we do with these with this now that we've committed all these sins you know believe on Jesus that he died for your sins and all of your sins not just that much or a trace or a mustard seed size you know he died for everything and God forgets about it like I said and and you know as, a Christ, as Christians we do make mistakes we do sin by mistake but then as if we still believe that Jesus died for our sins we'll, we will always be renewed by the Spirit by the Holy Spirit we will, we will, we will always be renewed and sure we will make mistakes at the beginning of, of Christianity uh, we will be we'll, we will make mistakes as a new convert but God is just Jesus is just to forgive us straight away no with no problem no regret no 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 what's that word no no grudge God won't have no grudge against us and no condemnation and there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus that's in the Bible you can type that down in the search engine God never judge us it's the accuser of the brethren that, that keeps judging us day and night day in day out day in day out constantly judging us saying you know he's just committed that sin he's just looked at that woman that man and passionately imagined being in bed with them you know it's the devil that does that 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 always that always you know that that that's the accuser of the brethren so yeah so what I can do now as well what I can do right now is pray with you pray the salvationary prayer and if you believe in your heart then you will be forgiven but if you don't believe in your heart then you won't be forgiven you have to believe it for it to work but if you don't believe it then if you don't believe it then you might as well go on your way end this video but it's down to you but don't it don't don't expect I mean don't it we, we can't expect life to be perfect without Jesus Christ or God you know the thing is with God we've got God and Jesus to rely on and ra and not people when we become when we, when we become Christians but if we if we if we if we're not Christians we've only got people in the government to rely on and ourselves and guess what we're human beings we fail even even the greatest sports athletes that hone their skills to be the best I mean why why is it that when athletes hone their skills and be the best they can and you got a lane of ten people wanting to win a gold, silver, a bronze med medal, and it can only be it can only be three people that can win it. Why can't they? Why can't they all draw? You see the you see how it's in it's 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 imperfection in 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 human beings. It's there's always imperfections in human beings. You know, it's God that's perfect. It's Jesus that's perfect. No other no before no 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 before no in the middle ground no after and there's like I said maybe before there's no middle ground in in the world there's either there's either children of God 
or children of the devil there's no middle ground you cannot separate the two there's nothing in between so we can do whatever we can to try and get reasons outside of God we will only find falsehood but yeah if you would like to pray with me the salvationary prayer and you can just call me by my dis by the descriptions in my videos any of my videos so yeah so let's pray this prayer just say after me dear dear Jesus I come before you I, I please ask you to forgive me for my sins Lord Jesus and declare you Lord over my life in Jesus name we pray Amen so if you pray that prayer and you mean it it's important you mean it because I've heard so many stories that people have come into church said not not said any salvation not not said any salvationary prayer at all and ended up the next day literally the next day a bus ran this happened to a man the he didn't say he said a salvationary prayer on the Saturday I mean it was on the Saturday and I think the next day or the Monday he he was out and about and a bus ran over him and he died just like that gone into eternity heaven or hell so you know this is something you cannot mess around with you know it, it's not it's not something to be taken lightly so that's really all I have to say for now so God bless take care peace be with you ciao now